Hello friends, I'm Crazy and you're watching Powered Toys. Now, it's no secret that I'm a huge fan of Transformers anime. So, at BotCon, when it was announced that there was going to be a two-pack featuring characters named Jetfire and Jetstorm, you can bet I was excited. Eric Sabinaller, one of the designers, hinted that they would have elemental-based powers, and they would sort of play off of each other in kind of a fire and ice type of rivalry. As it turned out, it would be fire and wind, and the final design seemed heavily based off of some early concept work done by Sean Cheeks Galloway. The first thing I did when I opened this two-pack was take out the comic, because I really wanted to learn about these two characters we haven't heard, seen or heard of before in any of the fiction. And the book is written by Marty Eisenberg, who's also the story director for the series. And he wrote the story so that it would be in continuity with the show. At a certain point in season two, Starscream is captured and held by the Elite Guard. During that time, the Elite Guard was able to copy some of his programming. Despite some Autobot protest, Ultra Magnus ordered Perceptor and Wheeljack to use this programming to upgrade two severely injured Autobot twins into the first two Autobot flying jets. Sentinel Prime put them through basic training and gave them the names Jetfire and Jetstorm. At the end of the comic, they join Sentinel Prime's squad and are ordered into, into pursuit of the traitor Wasp, where it says, to be continued in Transformers Animated Season 3. Now these two goofballs finally make their debut in Season 3 in the episode called Where Is Thy Sting? Their hilarious uh, Russian accents are provided by Tom Kenny and Phil Lamar for Jetfire and Jetstorm, respectively. Video games? Wild, isn't it? Humans sure know how to make a scene. I do winner! Enough of that, though. We've talked about who these two characters are. Let's talk about the toys themselves. Now, these two figures are almost identical, with the exception of the obviously different head sculpts, the obvious colors, and the difference, um, the different sort of elemental translucent plastic pieces as well. Any places other than those that are different are actually pretty much symmetrical opposites. But let, let's first try and transform them into their respective jet modes. First we're going to concentrate on the, the upper half of Jetfire, um, and that will form the front nose cone of the jet. First, we want to tilt his head all the way up, so it's facing the sky. Next, we want to flip up the, the back cockpit piece, which was just folded back like that, we're just going to fold it right up. Next, we're going to bring the arm out, and then there's another hinge on the shoulder, and we're just going to bring it down, just like that. Not all the way, but you'll see why. And then there's yet another joint that will flip out like that. And again, another joint, which will bring us up and around. Now I'm going to rotate the arm so that this this piece right here goes behind his head. So basically just twisting it around so that this corner piece matches up with this corner piece. And then we just flip it in, and it fits in nice and snug. And then we will fit this peg into the back of the elbow here, and straighten out the fist, which 
inches at an angle and that's all straightened out. So here we've already got we've already got half of the front done. So we're just going to work on the other arm now. So bring this up. Sort of twist this around. You can get it closer or um, once you're actually closer to the head. Bring this down, bring this out, bring this up, and bring this in. And again, just fit the peg into the back of sort of where the elbow was and straighten out the fist. I know it's a little difficult to see what I'm doing, but the two, what was the two forearms will connect together to form the nose piece. And we already have the front part of our jet. Next, we'll want to take the chest piece and flip it up. This will be important for other modes, but it'll fit up just like that. And now we're going to work on the legs. This part can be a little tricky. So what we want to do is we want to take these little hip, these little hip pieces and sort of just fold them out and down like that. They're going to go back in up and in, but um, not just yet. Next we're going to take our leg and just want to make sure you guys can get a good view of this. We're going to move it up. Nope, that's not supposed to split for this mode. We're going to... That's a better view. Bring this up and in. Make sure that stays by the side. Good, just like that. Now we want this hip piece to move forward and in, just like that. It'll fit in very snugly. You may need to um, just move it up and down a little bit to get it inside the top and bottom will fit right in that, in between this piece and the, the back part of the chest piece. Next, we will flip in the heel of the foot. Flip the foot out and rotate the leg like that so the translucent fire piece is facing out. And then we push it in. And this, there's a hole right on the knee. We want that to fit right into the back of this, what was the hip piece. Because there's a peg there that will fit right in. Now we're going to do the same on the other side. Hopefully a little more smoothly more easily visible. So we're going to move this out and jet mode for jet fire. I'm going to try and transform jet storm and I'm not going to do any talking but I'll try and display things a little better and a little faster. So here we go. <laughs>
is JetStorm. Now these two jets can combine. To do that, we're going to take the chest piece that we flipped up right here. There's a large peg right there. And on the same piece, the jet flyer is a complementary peg. So if we literally just fit those two pieces together, and then the nose cone, the nose cones have a similar set of pegs that can fit into each other. And that's all you need to do to combine for one large jet mode. I don't know that there's actually any top side as opposed to a bottom side, but you can have jet fire or jet storm on top or whatever whatever floats your boat. Or jet in this case. Now there's also a combined robot mode. To show you that, I need to I need to transform both of these figures back into robot mode. So I'm going to do that very quickly. We've seen the two robot modes, the two jet modes, and the combined jet. Let's take a look at the combined robot form of Safeguard. To start, we're going to take Jet Storm, I'm sorry, Jetfire, and start his transformation first. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to move the arms back just like that just out of the way and then we're going to flip this piece the head sits on we're going to flip that up and you'll see there is another piece right here we're going to flip that up what that is is actually half a safeguard space which you can't really see too well just now but bear with me here. So while this is still up, you can see inside and there is a there is a hinge right here. What that's going to do is that's going to hinge this entire side of his, his leg and yeah, it's going to just split apart right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to flip that around. It's going to rotate just like that. So it's facing the other direction now and it's going to come all the way up to where his shoulder was. Now that that joint is out of the way here, we can flip his head back all the way so that it goes under. And now we can fold this panel back down. Now, if I just rotate here, you can see what was once a leg will become an arm. And now his other leg will become, well, another leg. First we need to rotate this so it's facing the right direction. And for the arm, we'll need to flip it around here and we can flip the foot down as well. You can see the fist right here. You want to make sure you, fit, you, you fold that, uh, that heel in. And you should be able to just hinge the joint right there and you'll have your arm. Now, you should be able to see this black piece right here. This will hinge down so it won't stick out and be in the way of the arm when it folds down just like that. Now the arms in back sort of go into each of the four quadrants of his back, both Jetfire's arms and uh, uh, Jetstorm's arms, but I like to do something different. I'll show you that once we've combined the two. 
So we're going to do the same thing as we did with Jetfire. It's nearly the, the identical transformation, just symmetrically opposite, like I, I said before, and you'll get a better idea of that. take our jet storm half and well combine them. Now you can see the two pegs sticking out. Um, you're just going to fit them right in like so. There's another set of pegs in the head. Just like that. And you can bring the the hips together. Make sure they they fit in together snugly, just like that. Oops, I forgot to uh, extend the leg for jet storm, but that's all that was needed. Oops. Pretty much in all the the documentation and in the show and on the box, it shows the arms in these four quadrants. Each, each to a quadrant of his back. It doesn't look too bad. I actually like to reform the original cockpit. So uh, let me show you that. Now like I said, I kind of like to just reassemble the, the two nose cones in the back. It just gives him more of a more solid feeling and uh, just looks a little cooler to me instead of the, the forearms just sort of spread out that's Safeguard. Now overall, I have to say I really like Safeguard. They did an excellent job taking two almost identical molds or figures and making them truly unique characters. And they were still also able to make these identical, nearly identical figures combine into a you know seamless robot mode combined form that still maintain a great level of articulation. They did a really, really good job. My only complaint really is paint uh, application. There's very, very little paint application on the figure, and it's really lacking in the, the arms and legs in pretty much all modes. The, the Most of the color we're relegated to is the basic color that the plastic is molded in, with, with few exceptions but even that is a small complaint compared to the overall figure. I'm a big fan and have once again found yet another reason to love Transformers Animated. So with that, I'm just about out of time for today. Thanks for watching and remember to check out Power TV for all of your latest news on gaming, comics, toys, movies, music, and a whole lot more. Also, check out every Wednesday for new videos, not just of Power Toys, but also of Famicom Dojo, Keep Playing, and whatever else we fancy that day. And remember to check out our new podcast, excuse me, Powercast, every other Monday. So remember, kids, open your toys. Otherwise, you won't be able to double up. Yeah, it's time to...